नेक्स्ट पार्ट थर्ड चैप्टर फोर मोशन एंड प्लेइंग क्लास इलेवन फिजिक्स फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज डॉट प्रोडक्ट डॉट प्रोडक्ट मीन्स द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वेक्टर ए एंड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वेक्टर ए एंड वेक्टर बी एंड कोसाइन ऑफ द एंगल दैट मीन्स कॉज चीटा बिटवीन दैम फॉर डॉट प्रोडक्ट ए डॉट बी इज इक्वल्स टू ए बी कॉस चीटा कोसाइन ऑफ एंगल चीटा b cos theta is the projection of b onto a and a cos theta is the projection of a in onto b as seen diagram we have point o p and q where o p is b cos theta and o theta o q is beta and angle theta between them in other side we have a cos theta and a point p q where b cos theta is projection b onto a b onto a and a cos theta is the projection of a onto b case one when two vectors are parallel then theta is equals to zero jab parallel vectors honge to theta is equals to zero if theta is equals to zero a dot b is equals to a cos zero is equals to a b because cos zero is one when mutually perpendicular in perpendicular it is 90 degree and when 90 degree then ab a dot b is equals to ab cos 90 degree is equals to 0 for anti parallel ab cos 180 is equals to minus 1 minus ab properties a dot a is equals to a square a dot b is equals to b dot a for commutative property for associative a dot b plus c is equals to a dot b and a dot c next c dot a dot b is equals to c dot a dot b a dot b is equals to mod of a mod of b cos theta dot product of two vectors in terms of their components for two vectors suppose a and b for a we have a1 i a2 j and a3 k and for b b1 i b2 j and b3 k for dot product a dot b putting these values and after solving these values we get a1 b1 a2 dot b2 and a3 dot b3 for same vectors like i dot i j dot d and k dot k is equals to 1 but for different suppose i dot j j dot k j dot i k dot i is equals to 0 for same vectors it is equal to 1 but different vectors it is equals to 0 cross product the product of the magnitude of vector a and vector b and the sine of the angle theta sine of the angle theta means sine theta between them so a cross b for cross product is equals to ab sine theta and vector as seen diagram a dot a cross b a point a and b and angle theta between them so a cross b is equals to ab sin theta n cross product of two vectors in terms of their components suppose a is equals to a1 i a2 j plus a3 k b is equals to b1 i b2 j plus b3 k for a cross b like we study in matrices first we take vectors i j k then a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 for cross multiplication first we take i vector for i vector these terms are applied a2 b3 and a3 b2 then for j vector for j vector we take these terms i and k a1 b3 minus a b a3 my a3 b1 and for crep k vector for k vector we take i and j for i and j we take a1 b2 minus a2 b1 here i dot i j dot d j and k dot k is equals to z zero in dot product same vectors is equals to one but in cross product same vectors equals to zero and different vectors like i dot j is equals to k जो थर्ड वन लास्ट होगा वो उसके इक्वल में होगा जे डॉट के सो इजिकल्स टू आई के डॉट आई इजिकल्स टू जे 
therefore reversible process j dot so j cross i is equals to minus k k cross j is equals to minus i and i cross j is equals to minus j vector properties a cross b is equals to minus b cross a a cross b plus c is equals to a cross b and a cross c a cross b plus c cross d is equals to a cross c plus a cross d plus b cross c plus b cross d m a cross b is equals to a cross m b b plus c a is equals to b cross a plus c cross a a cross a is equals to zero a cross bracket b minus c is equals to a cross b minus a cross c a cross b cross c bracket c dot a b minus b minus a into c lemmy's theorem in lemmy's theorem if a particle under the simultaneous action of three forces is in equilibrium three forces kya in equilibrium honge then each force has a constant ratio each force ka kya hoga constant ratio hoga with the sign of the angle sign of the angle means sin theta between the other two forces suppose we have three forces like we have here angle beta angle gamma and angle alpha and force 1 2 and 3 here a b and c here a upon sin alpha b upon sin beta and c upon sin gamma so if p q r acting on a particle o on direction given by angle alpha beta gamma then particle o is in equilibrium o jo hoga wo kya hoga equilibrium hoga then p upon sin beta q upon sin alpha and r upon sin alpha now projectile motion in projectile motion an object that is given an initial inclined velocity initial inclined velocity and which subsequently follow a path initial inclined velocity let's start from o and follow a path ye path follow karega from point o and from point b o se leke a tak a ke baad a se b tak ye kya path ko follow kar raha hai determined by the gravitational force acting on it gravitational force acting karta hai iske upar by the frictional resistance of the air the path followed by a projectile is called trajectory maximum height kya hogi maximum vertical distance traveled by the projectile during its journey is called maximum height here range r and x plane and y plane at a ux is equals to u cos theta u y is equals to 0 u x is equals to u cos theta u y is equals to minus u sin theta u x is equals to u cos theta here u y is equals to u sin theta here mean maximum height h is equals to u square sin square theta upon 2g projectile given horizontal projection in horizontal projection equation of path y is equals to kx square ye kya hoti hai parabola ke liye hoti hai time of flight kya hogi t is equals to under root 2h upon g horizontal range r is equals to mu bracket 2h upon g and velocity of projectile when it hits ground v we have v is equals to under root u square plus 2gh 